It's a beautiful August day here in Northern Norway, so I thought I would take my felting project outside today. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make a little uh, mitten ornament using a cookie cutter form. Really, really beginner's felting, but really cute, really simple. Before I begin, if you like my content, please like and subscribe. Uh, you can also find me on Facebook at The Hobby Bird. I will uh, post that link in the description. So again, I will be using three needles. I have my 36, my uh, 38, and my 40 triangle. And I purchased my uh, needles at uh, Heidi Feathers, and I will post that, uh, the link to her uh, website in the description. I am not sponsored by Heidi Feathers. Uh, I am not affiliated with her in any way. I just really like her needles and they are color coded, so it's easy to use. So this whole process is really straightforward. We're gonna put our cookie cutter down and we're going to fill the space with wool. I'm choosing a white mitten today. Just make sure there's no other colored fibers in there. Okay, so place it down and just start felting it in and we're just gonna add wool to fill up the space. Now, you don't want this super thick, but you don't want it super thin either. But we do want it even all around. So we're just gonna keep adding and making, ouch. Making sure that we fill the form as evenly as possible. feels pretty good. So I'm just going to felt it fairly tight. It'll be nice and compact. Okay, and I'm going to take it out and flip it. I also flipped the, uh, the form and you see here it was a little light here so when I flip it here these fibers aren't so f I can add a little bit more wool there just to make sure that it's as even as possible yeah just continue switch over to my 38 here and flip it one more time continue with the 38 I'm just going to take it up and I'm going to take my 40 and I'm going to start I've mentioned this before in other videos that um, you can buy guards, of course, for your fingers. I just don't like using them personally. But by all means, protect yourself, don't. It is a personal preference. So if you want to use them, please do. Or just use your mat.
starting to come together. At any time while you're felting, if you think that it's like stretching out or being, it's like getting too, um, too wide, you can just pop it back in and it'll help you maintain that shape again. So now we're just going to, the mitten is done, and we're just going to give her a little bit of embellishments to make her extra cute. So I have this string. This is going to be a Christmas ornament, so. And I, so we're just going to add a little. There we go. Okay. So. Just tie a little bow. There, and then we're just going to attach a little string here so we can hang it. it a very simple but I think quite elegant little handmade Christmas ornament and uh, quickly made really really simple really simple little Christmas gift you can do them in pairs too if you wanted like two mittens also you could if you have some cute little buttons little snowflakes or something you could sew something on just to give it a little more detail but I think I think they're perfect just like that hope you like my tutorial thanks for watching bye